Food and Health Food is essential to live and to keep us healthy. A balanced diet, healthy environment and proper exercise keep us fit and healthy. A balanced diet is a combination of different types of food which contains the right amount of nutrients in it. These nutrients are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, water and roughage. Balanced Diet No single food can give us all the required nutrients in the adequate amount. We must eat different types of food to get all the essential nutrients. Carbohydrates and Fats Carbohydrates and fats are energy-giving nutrients. Carbohydrates give us instant energy. Food items such as rice, potato, wheat, etc. contain carbohydrates. Fats also give us energy. The energy obtained from fat is much greater than that obtained from carbohydrates. Butter, cheese, nuts, ghee, oil, etc. give us fats but too much fats are harmful for our body. Proteins Proteins are called as body-building food. They are essential for our body growth. They also repair the damage in our body. We get proteins from fish, meat, curd, milk, cheese, eggs, nuts, pulses and peas. Vitamins and Minerals Our body also needs vitamins and minerals in sufficient amount. Vitamins increase the ability to fight against diseases. Minerals help in the formation of blood, bones and teeth. We get vitamins and minerals from fruits and vegetables. Water and Roughage We also need sufficient amount of water and roughage for our body. Water is essential for good health and digestion of food. About two-third portion of our body is made up of water. Fibre, called roughage, is the indigestible part of our food. Fibre helps in digestion of food. Many vegetables and fruits such as grapes, mangoes, cucumbers, cabbages and ladyfingers are the rich source of roughage. Food must be cooked and stored properly to get all the nutrients from it. Fruits and vegetables should be washed before cutting. If we use excess water to cook food and throw away the excess water after cooking, so many nutrients from the food are expelled out with the water. Keeping vegetables, fruits and cooked food for a long time spoils them. Germs start growing in them and eating such food can cause food poisoning or other stomach diseases. We can preserve our food in the refrigerator for a few days. We can also preserve food by dehydration, sweetening, salting, canning, pickling, adding preservatives like oil, vinegar, etc. Exercise Exercise is a physical activity used to improve our health and fitness. All of us must do some exercises every day. It benefits us in many ways. Exercise helps to tone and develop our muscles. Muscles become weak and loose if we do not do proper exercise. It improves the blood circulation in our body. It restores our muscle energy level. Exercise makes our body joints to work properly. Our nervous system is also benefited as the blood circulation in our brain improves. Exercise gives our body a good posture and better appearance. It helps to maintain our body weight. We feel fresh and active by doing exercise. Rest After doing our daily work like studying, working and playing, our muscles are stressed and so our body needs adequate rest and sleep. This reduces the muscle stress and restores the energy in the muscles further. Thus, we feel relaxed and energetic. Taking proper rest also improves the efficiency of doing work. Diseases The condition of abnormal function of a part of the body or the whole body is called disease. 
there are various causes of diseases like deficiency of some nutrients in our diet or the impairment of normal functioning of a body part germs like bacteria viruses protozoa etc spread many diseases some diseases like rickets scurvy anemia etc are caused due to a deficient diet rickets occurs due to deficiency of vitamin d other diseases like those related to kidneys heart or arthritis can also be caused when some part of our body do not function properly there are some diseases that spread or transfer from one person to another while others do not on the basis of this diseases can be categorized into two types communicable diseases non communicable diseases communicable diseases diseases that spread from one person to another are called communicable diseases or infectious diseases tuberculosis chickenpox flu measles cholera malaria jaundice influenza etc are communicable diseases germs spread through air contaminated food or water insect bites etc from diseased person to another person who come in contact with the diseased person different diseases are caused by different germs bacteria cause diseases like cholera tuberculosis and typhoid protozoa cause diseases like dysentery malaria etc viruses cause measles flu common cold chicken pox etc communicable diseases spread in many ways through infected food and water diseases like typhoid jaundice diarrhea and cholera can spread through infected food and water food and water not stored properly get infected with germs through flies cockroaches rats etc intake these foods and water causes many diseases through contact with diseased person diseases like measles chicken pox ringworm common cold etc spread through direct contact with the diseased person using the diseased person's things also spreads diseases through air diseases like flu common cold etc spread through air when the diseased person coughs spits or sneezes germs come out from the nose and mouth and are released in the air these germs enter the body of the other person while breathing and make them sick through insects diseases like malaria dengue etc are caused by insect bites like mosquitoes fleas etc they are the carriers of germs they suck the blood of diseased person germs from the diseased person stick to the insect body while sucking the blood when they bite any other person the germs pass into their blood and spread such diseases plague spreads in humans through the intake of food bitten by rats through wounds communicable diseases also spread through wounds in the body germs stick on wounds and thus enter into the body and causes various diseases diseases like tetanus spread through wounds preventing communicable diseases healthy habits prevent germs and infectious diseases from spreading we must follow healthy habits to prevent from communicable diseases we should handle and prepare food safely we should wash our hands often after playing before and after eating and after coming from outside we should clean and disinfect our house and surroundings we should clean and wash our clothes regularly and also wear clean clothes we should avoid eating junk foods from the market we must not allow stagnant water to remain around our surroundings as it breeds mosquitoes avoid touching wild animals don't share your personal items get vaccinated vaccination and immunity vaccinations is the use of vaccines to prevent the causes of diseases 
vaccination can help to protect child from serious diseases caused by germs. Vaccinations are also called vaccines or immunizations. Vaccines develop the capacity to fight against infections, that is, develop immunity. Vaccines are available for tuberculosis, cholera, polio, diphtheria, measles, tetanus, pertussis and meningitis and must be given to the children at a proper age. Non-communicable diseases Diseases that do not spread from one person to another are called non-communicable diseases. These diseases do not spread through germs and infections. These are caused due to deficiency of a particular nutrient in the body. Diseases such as night blindness, beriberi, goiter, anemia, etc. are non-communicable diseases. Some of the causes of the non-communicable diseases are Lack of vitamin A results in night blindness. We can get vitamin A from green leafy vegetables, yellow vegetables, fruits like mango, papaya, carrot, butter, milk, fish and egg yolk, etc. Beriberi is caused due to deficiency of vitamin B. Sources of vitamin B are grains, meat, egg and dairy products, etc. The lack of vitamin C causes scurvy. In the olden days, when people used to go on long journey through sea, they did not get fresh fruits or vegetables, so they suffered from scurvy. Lemons, oranges, guavas, amla, green vegetables and sprouted grains are good sources of vitamin C. Lack of vitamin D causes rickets, weakening of the bones. Source of vitamin D are eggs, cheese, fortified foods, mushroom, sunlight, etc. Calcium and phosphorus make our bones and teeth strong. Milk and milk products are good sources of calcium and phosphorus. In the hilly areas where there is less iodine in the water, people suffer from a disease called goiter, swelling in the neck. We should eat iodized salt to prevent this disease. Some sources of iodine are figs, kidney beans, oats, soya beans, etc. Anemia results due to the deficiency of iron in the body. Meat, apples, bananas, guavas, spinach and jaggery contain iron. A person suffering from anemia has less hemoglobin in his body and therefore less oxygen in the blood. So, the person looks pale and gets tired easily. Therefore, to lead a healthy life, we should eat a balanced diet, take adequate rest and adopt healthy habits. We should get ourselves immunized against communicable diseases. We should maintain personal and community hygiene to take care of ourselves.